So, ladies and gents, Q4 is undoubtedly that time of the year where us e-commerce dropshippers make up 50 to 80% of our annual revenue on our Shopify stores. And quite frankly, I do understand that there's a ton of products out there that have a lot of potential. There's probably dozens of new products coming out in the market every single week that could be scaled to six and seven figures in revenue. But in this video, ladies and gents, as you can tell by the title, title, I want to talk about one niche that will almost guarantee for you to find a winning dropshipping product and actually go ahead and scale. This is honestly one of my favorite niches to sell products in. In fact, just a few days ago, I revealed one of my current Q4 winning products, and that is the same niche that I'm going to mention in today's video. If you do want to see that video, by the way, go ahead and click right there and it should take you to it. To be honest, there's no right or wrong niche to sell products in, especially when it comes to Q4, because if you really think about it, guys, people are just going out and price shopping, right? They wanna find the best deal possible out there, whether it be a product for themselves or something that they do wanna to gift to other people for Christmas, for example. So with that being said, as long as there is a product out there that serves a purpose, solves a problem, is passionate and useful to a certain audience, you can definitely go out and sell that product and make money from it. Now, I do wanna make this video as short yet as informative as possible. So with that being said, ladies and gents, make sure you guys do drop a like on this video. And while you're at it, make sure you guys are also subscribed to the channel with that post notification bell turned on because I do make videos bi-weekly every Monday and Thursday. So from my experience being in the space for a few years now, this is actually going to be my fourth Q4, quarter four, and every year I've seen the same trends go viral, and that is products focused around the jewelry niche. Even if you guys look on Google Trends from the past few years, even as far as back as 2004 and 2005, you'll see that jewelry goes up in terms of search every single November and December. This is when it typically tends to spike, because jewelry is one of the best gifts to give to other people. So we saw that jewelry does well year after year, but the other great thing about jewelry is that it is mass targetable and mass approachable. If you really think about it logically, almost everybody wears some sort of jewelry, especially women, and women are very aggressive buyers when it comes to online shopping just by nature. So yes, most jewelry products will be bought by women, but like I was saying before, you know, jewelry can be consisted of brooches, bracelets, earrings, rings, so on and so forth. And to make things better, there's so many different sub niches within jewelry. You can sell jewelry that appeals to people who are into religion, people who like pets, dogs or cats in specific, maybe even couples or people who are engaged. The list goes on and on and on. So with that being said, there's so many sub niches that you can find jewelry in and sell within. The other great thing I love about jewelry that makes it very lucrative from an advertising perspective from the get-go, especially when it comes to Facebook ads, you know, let's talk about that assuming Facebook is your bread and butter as it is mine, you can go ahead and market jewelry through very simple creatives. You don't even need videos perhaps, right? You don't need thumbnails and all this fancy stuff. You can just go ahead and market through a single image ad or a single image collage ad, or even like a carousel ad or something like that. This makes it very, very simple and does save you some time, energy, and money from the get-go in terms of launching that product. So not only is the creative process fairly simple compared to other problem-solving products and more complex dropshipping products out there, but even setting up that initial product page, if you think about it, ladies and gents, jewelry is very self-explanatory, right? It doesn't need a lot of unfolding or demonstration or education behind it so you can set up a nice simple clean neat product page and it should go ahead and really do the job you don't need to justify the product as much and then one thing i do want to mention is jewelry has high perceived value always no matter what and quite frankly it's pretty cheap to go ahead and source jewelry it usually costs you know anywhere between five to ten to fifteen bucks and you can go ahead and easily mark these products up for 
four to eight or sometimes even 10x more the original cost price per unit. This means that you have great margins, but you also have some room for error just in case. And then last but not least, jewelry is also evergreen, meaning not only can it sell really, really exceptionally well, I would say during Q4, but even after Q4, you know, for Q1, Q2, and Q3, jewelry can still sell super, super well. Not only can it sell well through Facebook, but you can also advertise it through influencers on TikTok, on Twitter, and even through Instagram. And this kind of goes back to my last point. You're allowed to do this or you can do this because jewelry is very, very appealing to a lot of people in different demographics. Now you may be wondering, Yash, how do I go ahead and find good, worthy products to sell within the jewelry niche? Well, there is a lot of ways, I won't lie, and that's because product research and validation is very complex, and it's a very large and expandable skill itself. But one way to go ahead and find reliable products that do have a lot of potential is going on AliExpress, specifically through the dropshipping center. In fact, this is how I found one of my current winning products, the product that I was talking about in the beginning of the video, that is in the jewelry niche. And all I really go ahead and do is type in different keywords within the AliExpress dropshipping center. So for instance, you can type in pets jewelry, couples jewelry, all these different keywords and phrases, and nine out of 10 times, you'll at least see a lot of products that can spark up inspiration and really serve as a benchmark in terms of what's selling and what's not selling in the market. And then afterwards, I'll usually go to AdSpy or to Facebook ad library. I'll see if anyone is going ahead and selling that product. If you're a beginner, I definitely recommend at least validating through one or two people selling that product prior so you have more of a chance in terms of that product working. Yet again, there are so many untapped jewelry products. There are thousands and thousands of earrings and necklaces and bracelets and rings. I mean, again, the possibilities are absolutely limitless when it comes to jewelry. If you're a little bit of an intermediate or advanced player, maybe you have you know a little bit of data from a previous winning product within the jewelry space or something very similar, you can even go out and sell just super untapped products that haven't been sold before. Maybe go ahead and utilize you know, lookalikes or some of your warmer and hotter audiences, maybe even some of your email lists or SMS lists. Again, I'm just throwing product ideas out there and different things that you guys can actually go ahead and implement. So guys, if you are watching this currently, whether you are a beginner, intermediate, or advanced player, it doesn't really matter. I definitely recommend scouting products within the jewelry niche. And again, these can be any types of jewelry product for anyone in general. A lot of the times, it's the most odd things that will go ahead and sell. Trust me, you'll be surprised. So go out, be flexible, find a product within the jewelry niche. I can almost guarantee that the chances of you finding something consistent and profitable, it's definitely way higher in the jewelry niche around this time of the year rather than any other niche out there just based off of experience and analyzing the data from the past four to five years myself. With that being said, I hope you found this video informative and helpful. I wish you guys all the best luck for Q4 and onwards. Go out there and absolutely smash it. As always, if you guys do have any questions, thoughts, or concerns, then feel free to comment them in the comments down below because I do reply to each and every single one of them. Furthermore, feel free to check out all the links and resources in the description down below guys because there are a lot of resources and tools that will and can be helpful for your Shopify dropshipping store. Other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I appreciate that. Like I said, stay tuned for new videos on Mondays and Thursdays. And with that being said, make sure you guys continue working hard and more importantly, continue being awesome. Until the next one, your boy is out. Peace.